welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I don't think much of it's Christmas. Although one of the bags might be a surprise to both of us because I can't remember what I bought. Oh, excuse me. That was the other night. Um, I wanted to show you a picture when I refer to my little cousins. They're not so little. But I did want to share with you. Ooh, we're going to get a glare. <gasps> It's not going to focus right. Anyway, that's my little cousin. Look how tall he is. And his sister. And then my cousin Debbie and her husband. So those are my little cousins. They're 16 and 13 now. I think she's 13. Yes, because he will be 17 soon. So they're not little anymore. But they're still my little cousins. And I love them. Mmm. I'm having some Bengal spice tea, which is like cinnamon cardamom stuff, in my Sippin' on Jolly Juice mug that I got for Christmas this year. I'm telling you guys, I'm working my way up to the 25 days of Christmas mugs. I also got another cat mug. It says Catitude on it, but that's an all the time mug. Mm. And it has a black and white cat. How cute is that? Oh, and the other thing I was going to show you while I'm sitting here editing videos what I've been working on are more gnomes this one will be a Santa gnome look at his hat isn't that awesome this is felt um, I'm still working on his beard it would it needs to be like I have it attached to the top and now I need to go in and attach the bottom but that will be my Santa gnome for next year I didn't like the hot pink of his nose so I just added some white over it and now it's like a pinkish nose and what I'm doing is I'm taking the fur, the fleece, this is actually sheep's fleece, it's called a lock. And what this curly stuff is, this is exactly, comes right off the sheep. They shear it, they wash it, and that's it. So what I do is I have it attached at the top, and now I'm going to come and attach it at the bottom. And instead of just hanging all dangly, it'll give more of a beard effect. I'll show you in a second. But this is my little Santa I'm working on. He's made out of wool. Um, here are some ornaments I'm making for next year for gifting maybe, but this is also wool and the other beard will look like this. These are also sheep's locks. And this one, I just made a green hat and I put red polka dots and on the red hats, I will put green polka dots because I think that's cute and whimsical. And these are just be like little ornaments and these don't have to be for Christmas. I was thinking for winter doing like a gnome tree and hanging these from like a, a tree if I can find one on clearance so while I'm editing videos sometimes that's what I'm doing I just thought you would enjoy all right Dollar Tree excuse me okay first things first the tray everybody buys the tray um I'm headed out this weekend to a, it's about a two and a half three hour drive where I'm going uh, to see some friends and have a holiday dinner and I'm gonna bring a dessert and so I like to taking the sticker off while I'm talking to you. I like to buy these for a dollar and then I could just leave it. I don't have to worry if it's going to make it home with me or not. And it's clear. So it really matches any theme. And if I'm feeling festive, I'll put some tissue paper down. I think I'm making caramel brownies and put them on the tray. And then I'll just wrap it with some, you know, cling wrap and it's ready to go. And again, I don't have to worry about bringing that home. I do wash them first. Um, I found some New Year's stuff and I got two of this. I'm not really doing anything for New Year's, but sometimes it's just fun to have some champagne. So these are champagne flutes. They're stemless and they're actually a decent quality. I mean, they're pretty thick. I don't know if you'll be able to see what they say. It just says New Year's 2020. But for a dollar, like that is a great deal. And these are Greenbrier, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. My store, I believe, put them out today and there were two left. So, um, yeah, they're pretty nice. And I'm wondering after the fact if you can't take some like nail polish remover and just take that off. And then you just have some plain champagne flutes. But they're nice. And I thought those would be fun. I'll maybe, I'll probably just have some wine on New Year's Eve while I'm relaxing. Um, but that was a fun find. Let's see what I got over here. Oh, I purchased another one of these tarps. Guys, if you see them and you do any kind of messy crafting, these are great. What I love is they're super thick 
There is an adhesive strip so you can stick it to your table so it's not sliding around. There's measurement grids on it. These are great. For a dollar, definitely recommend these, um, especially if you have like kids and they do a lot of like painting and stuff, or if you're painting, these are perfect. And I feel like you can wipe these down and reuse them multiple times. So I did grab one more of those. My store, this is gonna be the finally. Finally, I found one of these. And if you were lucky enough to find these, this is really nice quality. Usually I don't get into the Dollar Tree placemats, but this is almost like a linen look fabric. If you could make a pillow, you would just have to bust open that seam. I only found one, which is fine. Um, I'm not sure that I'm doing the Buffalo check next year for Christmas. But if I do, I will have this for an end table. And if not, I can use it for a craft or I could gift it to somebody. But it was a dollar and I love it. And I mean, I could decorate year round with it. I just don't. I know I could. Um, I grabbed some of these hair beads. I know they're hair beads, but look at the size. They're perfect for, um, I was thinking about putting them on the tops here and I still might of my gnomes to like add an accent so when they're hung up there's like a wooden bead at the top i didn't on this one this is just my tester one but um yeah i could totally craft with these and you get 20 beads and they're a fairly decent size and they're pretty colored wood so i thought that was a good deal so i picked those up just to kind of go in my crafting drawer i went through and purged a ton of stuff i don't need so what do you do you go buy more stuff you don't need i guess if you hear the digging, it's the cat in his little pan. He's digging for China back there. What are you doing, Debbers? I don't know what they're doing. They're crazy. Okay. I found this. It's a marker. Guys, it's a Sento's scented marker watermelon. I just wanted to try it. And apparently it comes in watermelon, strawberry, green apple, and blueberry. I don't know. I bought the Mr. Scents and I have been looking for those because I think I know some children that would really like those crayons. I just haven't found them again. I don't even know. It was a one-time thing, but all right. So this is, oh, it's a super fat marker. Oh, it smells like watermelon and look how big that is for a little one. How fun. Let's see if I can find a piece of paper. Yeah, that's not, that's nice. It writes pretty good. It's like a neon pink. I mean, I almost feel like it's almost like highlighter and it smells delicious. I'll pass it along, but I don't know. I think it's super cute and they, the lids stick on the top here and they're really cute. I just thought that would be something fun to share with you. Um, I found this elf duo stick eyeliner eyeshadow i don't wear a lot of eyeliner um my eyes are kind of almond shape i can't see you but you can see me and i feel like if i use too much eyeliner it just makes them look smaller uh, but sometimes i can do a little bit and i wanted to see it's elf brand oh that writes nice writes it's very smooth i'll show you in a second it's very black and there's two ends one is a shimmer and one is a matte so i guess if i had to guess i would say the top was supposed to be the shimmer and the bottom the matte i'm not seeing a lot of shimmer Ugh, now i have a big mess i'm not seeing a lot of shimmer but it's black eyeliner if you're into that I'll probably pass this on to my niece, but I wanted to show you because it is e.l.f. brand. Somebody I saw was um, hauling some e.l.f. Um, makeup brushes, which I love. Okay, in my theme for New Year's, I like gold, black, white this year. And look at this pom-pom. It is white with gold tips. I just grabbed one because I think it will be fun, but it's white with gold. They had silver. They had solid gold with a little bit of white. I love, look at that picture, the white with the gold. 
Am I having a party? Absolutely not. But will I have a party one day? Maybe. Or go to a party one day? Or have fun having a party with my cats? I don't know. But this was cute and I needed it in my life. White and gold. And to go with that, they have Happy and New Year and gold balloons. These are the ones you blow up. And they're a fairly decent size. Um, include self-sealing valve. Six inch plastic straw, seven feet of ribbon. It inflates to 28 inches by 13. And this is 32 by 11. And it says happy and new year. And I don't have to use these right now, guys. But they are nice. And I grabbed them. So, like, I, will, I have, like, a party tub that I keep party favors in. So these will go in there. I've got the picks with the gold beads on them for like food picks, which I'm on the hunt for more because I think they're fabulous. And I'm looking for the gold trays. Um, I do entertain fairly often. It just doesn't have to be for New Year's. But I thought these were super cute and I wanted to share. So I grabbed those. Um, on the boring front, I got some plastic wrap to take my cupcakes. Um... They have full-size bottles of Trident Vibes. This is peppermint. I got three of these, sugar-free gum. I love these. And when they get them on occasion, I pick them up. These are really like $5 at CVS. So I grabbed three of them. I thought those would be great. I like them in my car. And with my three-hour drive coming up, gum is important. So I grabbed that. Or in my coffee or in my tea. That's rude. Okay. I found some other fun stuff. Um, these are these are even Greenbrier, because I don't think, yeah, these are Greenbrier. These are the glass paint brushes. I don't use them on glass, but I love to craft with them. You've seen me use these variations before. I got white and black. Um, I love the white to write on black paper and make like a chalkboard effect. And the black is great for any sign making projects. And I grabbed two of each. Um, I have not, these were just put up today at my store. They have like greens and blues, but honestly, these are the colors that I'm going to use the most. And these are paint pens. I'm not going to open them because I have some opened already and I don't want them to dry up. But I have used these before and they work great. You can use them on ornaments. You can use them on glass. I'm assuming it gives you directions on how to do it, like bake it or something. But quite frankly, I like to use them for signs and paper crafting. So those will go in my marker bin. Like you do. I kind of went a little nutso today. I'm not going to lie. But you'll see why in a second. I'm super excited to try this. It's a um, shampoo massager. Look at that. And these are pretty firm. Let me see if I can get this out of the packages because I'm putting this in my shower tonight. I'm going to use it in the morning. Um, so you hold it in your hand like that. It's very sturdy plastic. They had different colored backgrounds. Oh, and you just kind of throw it behind you on the ground. But if you weren't throwing it behind you on the ground, I'm trying not to like mess up my hair. Oh, but it goes right down to the scalp. That feels good. I'm excited to try this in the morning when I wash my hair, get some blood flowing. Um, yeah, so I grabbed one of these and I may have to get a second. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. It's very firm, which is nice. It's not like squishy. I mean, they, they're flexible, but they're not overly flexible which is nice. And I think they had pink, a blue, maybe a purple. I know there was a pink and a blue and then the green. But yeah, that's great. It's a nice deal. So in the category of my store finally got it, the beaded, the berry garland. Guys, finally, finally, my store gets this. And I sure did buy three of each color. <laughs> I sure did because I'm A, it's not just for Christmas. <gasps> Look at that red. How pretty would that be in the fall or the summer? 
this white is like pearly white so almost a silver but it's definitely still in the white family and then this gold so i grabbed three of each color i don't have a plan in the world for these however i have been hunting them down all winter and they were not even with the craft stuff, to be honest with you. They were on an end cap with some Christmas stuff. But my store is doing some weird, like, shifting everything around, kind of moving all the Christmas stuff to the front. But this was on an end cap. And it is, it's just, it's like brown craft paper tape wrapped around wire. And then they pick up these little berries. And it's called Berry Garland. I'm sure everybody else in America has found these. But they just came to my store, and I'm going to have so much fun crafting with these maybe next year. Uh, maybe some of these, and then on a blue something for 4th of July. I mean, there's unlimited stuff you could do. But the red, white, and blue would be fun for the summer. Um, so I did buy three of each because I love them, and I'm so happy to have finally found them. Right? Did I show you this stuff? Yes. Okay, you saw that. So that is it that is everything i'm gonna sit here and work on my gnomes and edit this video so you can see it tomorrow it is thursday night it's i don't know what time because my fitbit watch broke um i think it's like 8 30 but i'm gonna get this up for friday and then next week is the week of christmas and i have no idea if i'm gonna maybe take the week off um, I might do some vlogging and do some vlogs next week or, um, a little variety. I'm not really sure. I don't work, um, much next week, but next two weeks, I'm kind of taking some time. So I might just want to spend time with my family. I don't know. Um, uh, but we'll have fun and I will bring you along if I get into anything super fun. All right, everybody, you have a good one. Night.